Hey guys, I'm David. And I'm Korea. And this, this is, is GV Kids TV. TV. Enjoy the show. David. Yeah. So it's important who we follow. Yeah. Well, okay. So last week we learned to about Jesus, right? And yes. Jesus died for us and he forgave us. Yeah. So we not only need to choose to believe in Jesus, true, but we also need to choose to follow Jesus. Oh, choose to follow Jesus. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Here what we are go. You doing today? So here we go. Um, we're playing follow the leader. Follow the leader. That's like, fun. Is it like a kid's game or something? All right, follow no. the leader. All right, so here we go. Um, follow the leader. Um, each host takes a turn to follow the other in whatever they do. You need to follow exactly what the other host does. Choose okay. someone to go first. I'm gonna go first. Oh, okay. You ready? All right, let's All right, do it, let's yeah. Go. Hey everybody, it's me, Ken Rate. You might know me from How To with Ken Rate. Oh yeah. Listen, I'm kind of sad today because my sensei, my master, who has taught me karate, has moved to the Bahamas. He retired, and he's getting himself some well-earned rest on the beach. It's pretty awesome. But now, who am I going to continue to learn karate from? I got to find a new master to follow. Come on, let's go find him together. So who are some people that influence us in our lives? You know, people who we learn from, who teach us. Maybe it's like a, a parent who, who feeds us and who cleans and we learn those things. We learn how to be a person from our parents. Or maybe it's a teacher who teaches us how to read and write and we learn about math and science and that's from our teachers. Or maybe it's an influencer like a YouTuber, like a Dude Perfect, where we learn how to do like these crazy trick shots where you're throwing a basketball and it bounces all over and then you make it. Or maybe uh, we watch an, a YouTube where they open toys or we learn the newest Fortnite dance and we just, we learn from these people. Uh, maybe it's a, a movie star where we see them on TV and we're like, you know, I wanna dress like them, I wanna act like them. Or maybe it's even a musician where we learn we wanna sing as well as they sing or play music as well as they play music. There's so many people that we are influenced by, but it's important to choose the right people to follow. Take a 
was some, something uh, easy, I would say. Easy? I, yeah. Whatever. It All right, fun. well, now I guess it's my turn. It is your turn. All right, so you have to do everything that I do. Okay. Every single thing that I do. You guys ready for this? Here we go. I'm not
Whoa! Look at that guy! He's real punchy, like a punch llama. Maybe I can follow him. He could be my next master. Let's check it out. Hey, excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you like a punch llama or something? Because you're very punchy. And, you know, maybe I want to, you know, follow you. I've been trying to look for a new master. And so what do I, okay, so what do I got to do? So, uh, you, whoa, you're punching just a stone wall? So, oh, okay, I'll, I guess I'll try it. Oh, 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 where's my mommy? Where's my mommy? That hurt. Oh, punch llama, I don't think I can follow you. <laughs> So who we follow is so important and it's all about finding the right people to follow and doing exactly what they do. For instance, if you want to learn how to cook, you're going to talk to and follow a chef. And if you want to learn about fashion, you're going to talk to and follow somebody who's fashionable. And if you want to be a karate master, well, you're going to talk to and follow a karate master. And if you want to learn how to grow up, you are going to want to talk to and follow a teacher and your parents. But guys, most important, if you want to know how God wants us to live, we need to follow Jesus. So how do we know how to follow Jesus? So, oh. did you like that though? Yeah, uh, that was fun. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Did, did you, did you mean, really, really like it? No, it was intense. <laughs> I know. I well, liked mine better. Well, follow the leader. You have to do exactly what they do every single time. Every single time. When they say to follow. And listen, you did a pretty good job. I mean, thank you. You drank the disgusting drink, which I didn't that think you'd do that. That was gross. Yeah. And you I did everything. I appreciate you never making me do that again. Uh, I can't promise that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, follow the leader. That's the game. That's the game. Okay, but David, yeah. who we choose to follow uh -huh. is important. That's true, right? yeah. And we not only want to believe in Jesus, right? Yes. We, our actions need to follow that. 
So like like exactly what he did, like exactly from the what Bible. he did. Exactly. Hmm. So we want to choose to follow him. So that means we want to be kind to others. Gotcha. We want to take care of the poor. Yep. We want to be good to other people. Got we it. want to um, tell people about God. Yep. All of those things that Jesus did, we also want to do. And how can we find out those things? I mean, like really, I mean, how do we find out those things that Jesus did? Well, we read the Bible. Yeah, it was a trick question. Yeah. I already said Thank it. Yeah, you. yeah. We have to read the Bible, guys. Like, listen, because if we don't read the Bible, then we can't know what Jesus did. You it's know, true. like, it, like we could we could be like we can watch TV shows and listen to music and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and we can like kind of see what Jesus did, maybe. But some of those things are not even accurate. We gotta actually read the Bible and see what Jesus did and follow Jesus. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Exactly. Whoa! You look like you know how to fight. My name's Ken Rate, and my sensei has moved to Bahamas to retire. I'm looking for a new master to follow to teach me the fighting ways of fighting. Whoa! Will you be my master? Awesome! Okay, okay, what am I gonna do? Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, this is awesome, okay. Oh, that good move right there. Oh, this is awesome! Oh, I must have made feel like I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, that's awesome, yeah! So, how do we learn how to follow Jesus? Well, we need to go to the place that has all the information on Jesus himself. We need to go check out the Bible. And when we go into the Bible, we'll learn so many examples of what Jesus did, right? For example, Jesus loved us first, so we should love others, right? In John 13, 34 through 35, it says, So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. So in the Bible, Jesus literally tells us to love each other, right? And how did he do that? Well, he healed the sick and he was praying for the hurting and he even washed the disciples' feet, right? And he fed the hungry. Even when Jesus was tired and worn out, he still loved others. Another example that we can follow is that Jesus prayed often. So we should pray often. In Luke 5, 16, check it out. It says, but Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness to pray. Jesus prayed often. So we should pray often. He prayed when he was distressed and sad. He even prayed when others needed healing or for people to know God. Jesus prayed often. So we should pray too. Another great example is how Jesus forgave us, so we should forgive others. Check this out. In Ephesians 4.32, it says, Instead, be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. It's pretty simple. Jesus forgave others, so we should too. Another example is how Jesus encourages us, so we should encourage others. In Romans 15, 5 through 7, it says, May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward, towards each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to show encouragement because Jesus shows encouragement. And finally, a great example is Jesus never lied, cheated, or stole. And we know this because he was at, without sin. So we shouldn't lie or cheat or steal. Check this out. In 1 Peter 2.22, it says he never sinned nor ever deceived anyone. Jesus didn't sin and he doesn't want us to either. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail, and there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep, 
Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would come me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith would be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith would be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Take me deep.
It's so cool when we choose to follow Jesus, and God loves it when we love him. So let's take a few minutes and answer a couple of questions.